Hello and welcome to day two of Disneyland Paris 2018 on August 28th. This is the commentary video. If you want to see the video without commentary, I have left a playlist in the description to the videos without commentary. And I will also leave a comment on this with a link to the video without commentary. So with day one, I have put everything together and this time I want to make it uh, shorter by dividing it into parts. Because with part one, I want to show you everything that I have in mind on how these videos will be. Bienvenue. I will be showing more of the atmosphere and more of the Disneyland Paris castle. And at the end of the video is actually uh, something very cool for Telltale the Walking Dead fans. I was really surprised by that. A bunch of Disney balloons are up in the air. Someone's about to get fired. Right now in front of the Animal Care Center. Just put our puppy Kira inside. And Fred Mills going from the parking lot to the parks. And then right across from us are the toilets and some frozen themed soda machines. We first go to Disney Village because I mentioned that on day one. Just want to show at least uh, two shops. And then onward on the Disneyland Park. Let's just hear out this announcement. To ensure an enjoyable experience for all, we remind you that the use of camera extension poles, such as selfie sticks, is not allowed in the Disney parks, and that smoking is only allowed in designated areas indicated on your park. Thank you for your cooperation, and have a wonderful day at Disneyland Paris. Wonderful day at Disneyland Paris. So. Self sticks aren't allowed, but a small tripods, which I have, try with small, uh, that one is allowed. But when it's not allowed is and when you actually enter a queue, because if you enter a queue, it is recognized as the attraction itself, and that's not allowed. Here we are at this little ferret, just have to skip apart, it's quicker, at World of Disney. It's an amazing store, very huge. Just look at it, all the details over here on, the, on top of there. Pan, all the stars. And this is more of Paris merchandise. Now, over here with the balloon. You can already see around it, it goes in a circle, so many themes from the Disney movies. Ah, here RTD2. It is 49.99. So it's really cool, but this one doesn't move. If it would have moved, it would be very cool. I kind of like it though. That sounds sad, BB-8. And here we have a Stormtrooper from the First Order. I'm not sure if you can press anything here. I've tried, but I can't find it. I think it's just to get the feel of the gun or something. But on the shoulder is a button, then you can hear him shoot. So yeah, here you can see all the listing movies around us. Now we are going further on with Disney Village. Here you can see the 25 because it's the 25th anniversary of Disneyland Paris. <laughs> I'm 
Now this one is very cool because these are uh, from the Planet Hollywood and these are all the hands of famous actors. And the ones I'm going to show you is Harrison Ford. So I'm looking for Harrison Ford, Mel Gibson, Charlie Sheen, Joe Pesky, Macaulay Culkin. Dan Aykroyd, Diana Ross, Jack Nicholson, Cher, <laughs> two dog paws from the dog Lassie. Ah, here you have it, Harrison Ford. Uh, I would say about the same size as my hand. Now all the way to the left is Bruce Willis. So I'm just gonna put my hand on here as well. And it's exactly the same size. <laughs> and you can see he's right-handed because that one is further along inside of the pavement. A cast member on stage blowing bubbles. Whoa. Children yelling. And this is at the far end of Disney Village, which is the Lego store. Amazing to have a Lego store here at Disneyland Paris. And then a dragon all around the store, so that's very cool. So that's kind of nice to get visit here on the Lego store. Because there's no Lego store where I live, so it's nice to finally look around in a Lego store. There's some Lego Harry Potter things you can build on your own. There you can already see the pick and brick wall. So you can grab a cup and then you can just grab some pieces and then put it inside of the, the cup. And it costs you about, about $9.99 and $17.99. But the $9.99 is a very small cup. So it's better to go for the 18 euro. And I'm not sure, but you might get a discount with uh, annual pass. So the themes I like, if you already seen some LEGO videos, are uh, Just World, Inter Spark LEGO, uh, Harry Potter and Star Wars, but also Marvel superheroes. But definitely, mostly, it's Harry Potter, and then secondly, it's Just Park slash Just World. Hopefully, we'll get more Just Park sets. Oh, the, the Lego Disney Disney castle is amazing, but so expensive. I'll probably never get it. And here you have um, a statue of Woody and Buzz Lightyear. So very cool, mate. So I got all of these. Still need to make unboxing videos about those, but I got all of the Lego Harry Potter sets as well as just world sets. So, here a better look on Woody and Buzz Lightyear. R2D2 over there. And then Fantasia Mickey Mouse. I love that movie. Now onwards to Starbucks, of course, you <laughs> have a Starbucks here. Just get some coffee and then enter the park. My day was actually correctly spelled. Here's a cinema. It's now actually we're featuring Edmund, because yes, it is in 2018. And the Wild West Buffalo Bill Show is on the left. 
But one downside with the cinema is that I don't play it in English, only in French. So I wouldn't go there, which is such a shame. Nah, onwards to the Disneyland Park. You can hear the Incredibles 2 music. Now going straight, you can actually put your luggage behind there. It can cost you some money, but if you have an annual pass, it's actually free. So that's very helpful. So you can just put your bags here and then just go into the park. And just come back later tonight. Or just whenever you want to go back. So first time with my annual pass here. Oh, on the right around. And doesn't actually scan. Oh my! <laughs> and fell down. And this is the little tripod that I brought with me. This is really the first time that I've been asked for an ID card. No one else that has get asked about it. A lot of really strange that they wanted my ID. So I just had to cut my camera there. Okay. Now, finally, you can hear the music. We are in the park. Had some struggles <laughs> with the gate there. But we made it. Back on Main Street again. So this time we won't go to the left or to Imperium, to the shop Imperium. We will now go onwards to the Disneyland Castle. So as you can see, it's very crowded today again. Just like. But that's because it is summer, plus summer and identification. Only kids are allowed to dress up, so I'm not sure why she's allowed to wear the dress. It's strange, she's not a cast member, I don't think so. Strange. Oh well. It has actually been a while since <laughs> day one and now day two of 2018 vlog. But that's because I've been very busy with walkthroughs, but also I've been sharing a lot of digital empowered videos from the attractions couple from 2018 and the shows but mostly from 2019 showed you attractions like Phantom Manor and Buzz Lightyear Laser Blast so I like to do that um, have this full video of the whole day and showing all the attractions separately so, so this dad didn't even look ahead and well he made his son smash into me so 
So yeah, so some people just don't watch where they walk. And especially with my expensive camera, it is kind of tricky. But I make sure that everything will be alright. Which is why I actually stopped, to make sure I wouldn't drop my camera. And again, I make these videos, so it's actually like you are being here in Disneyland Paris. And what's fun is that I can now add commentary, what I'm not doing, and have it without commentary. Some Instagram posts here, yep. Yeah, I get a lot of Instagram posts here in front of the castle. But it's really a beautiful castle. <coughs> it's very crowded, so it's very tough to get through here. I tried to run a little bit, but it's, yeah, it's, it's not possible this way. Now, almost made it to the Sleeping Beauty Castle. Now a show starting of all the Disney princesses and princes. I'll show you that later, just a little bit when they when the show ends. So I can now just go through here because everyone will watch the show and it's really crowded. Those are really good times to, to go to attractions or visit just places that can be very, very crowded. Now, almost on here, inside the Sleeping Beauty Castle. You can hear the Aurora song here. The guards are sleeping as you can hear. So each section has a story to tell about the Sleeping Beauty story. Now here with Prince Philip and Maleficent, the dragon. And what's very cool is that you can go outside here, on the balcony. Well, again, you <laughs> they really need to watch where they are walking. But yeah, that's what happens when it's so crowded. Get that view. Really love the view from here, from the Disney Castle. And again, as I told you on day one, an Aladdin song. <laughs> but this, yeah, it's my favorite Disney movie of all time. A whole new world. It's a very beautiful song. But still a little bit strange that it's not at Adventureland Mansar. Section where Aladdin is located at.
and up there all to the top of the castle now let's get inside again get some more information about sleeping beauty and then afterwards we will check out outside where the disney princesses and princes are Yeah, it's such a shame that the story that they tell here is in French, so I can't really translate it for you. Here you have Sleeping Beauty with Maleficent. spinning wheel and I'm gonna touch it yep <laughs> yeah. look at how beautiful it is inside of the castle there's the trees over here and then all the people going through the castle And the guard that is sleeping. We really like that detail. Now, let's go downstairs and then you go outside and then you can see the show from behind. What a show here, alongside the music. The show is almost over, so then they will walk all the way over here, and then uh, we can see them. That's why I will wait a little bit. Aladdin and Jasmine. Cinderella. Beauty and the Beast. Thank you. 
And here they come. First we have Rapunzel with Flynn, Ariel and Prince Eric, and then Jasmine with Aladdin, Cinderella and Prince Charming, Beauty and the Beast, Tanya and Naveen, and Sleeping Beauty with Prince Philip. Nah, okay, now finally onwards. So at the center of Disneyland Paris again, and then now onwards to Frontierland. So this is a Frontierland fort, which I will now show you. It's about the uh, legends of the Wild West. On the right you see it's a little map about what it is. Now well, going up here. Now be in mind it gets very dark here. It's really nice to have this theme, the Wild West theme. Gets you back a little bit like Red Dead Redemption, something like that. Alright. <laughs> okay. Chicken. Um, so, that's one of the nice things with this land is that the atmosphere, you, you really get into the whole setting. It's like just like you are b back in the Wild West. So as a Red Hat Redemption fan, it's really nice to walk around here. And have a nice fitting song of the Wild West. There you can see the Molly Brown and in the back the Big from the Mountain. One of my favorite rides in Disneyland Paris. The children are the ones that were actually just yelling just now. Change the brightness here with the camera. Yeah, you can see someone in jail. Who is sleeping? So this attraction takes place in a Civil War inspired fort, known as Fort Comstock. This is located at the entrance of Funder Mesa, which is a fictional city portrayed in Frontierland.
Look, here, we have a binocular. You can see it here a little bit. You can see someone walking over there. Just had to zoom in here. It's nice that you can actually see a little bit. Mostly leaves, sadly, but you can see it a little bit. Downstairs again. Over here we have the sheriff. Hello there. He's just getting ready. Here we have Davy Crockett. Where he's shooting another man. <laughs> frontier man, the king of the wild frontier. Here we have Buffalo Bill. So this Buffalo Bill in his home preparing his Wild West show with two other men. And here is his bedroom. Just one more thing I forgot that's actually the entrance to another shop. It's over here and you can get another look of Buffalo Bill. So much details. Now, leaving the fort and going towards Big Thunder Mountain. Here we still have the shop, so it's a very large shop, very cool one. And on the left we have the shooting gallery, which is a rest of the roundup shooting gallery. But you have to insert your own money, so it costs you about a euro per, per shooting round. Now on the left was the exit of Big Thunder Mountain. Over here on the right is Fuente del Oro Restaurante, which is a Mexican cuisine, or actually Tex-Mex cuisine. And this time, because it's uh, just before Halloween, they already themed the restaurant into cocoa. Sadly, it's not the whole time, just just around Halloween. And why we went this way is because of the fast pass for Big Thunder Mountain. But as you can see, close at the fast pass, so that's really annoying. I really thought we would go on Big Thunder Mountain on day two. Not sure why, but sometimes things do break down in this land Paris. And this section here I just had to put in this video, which is at the end of Frontierland, 
at Pumpkin Cookout, you hear this song, which is Clabatite's song. That's just really cool to find out the song that is, was used in Telltale's The Walking Dead, the final season. Like the video if you've enjoyed it, subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and thank you for watching.